I did a stream where I forced landlubber comp for 18 hours straight. I played landlubbers with Soul Rewinder, without Soul Rewinder, with Living Azerite, Nala, Master of Realities, Peggy, SI7 Scout, Edwin, whatever you can think of, I probably played it. And I'm here to publish my results. Pause. If you're here to just watch the insane lubber game, just skip to this timestamp. And for the rest of you, I'm gonna show you guys exactly everything you need to know on how to love perfectly. Back to the video. For those of you that need a quick rundown of the strategy, basically you stay on two, buying as many landlubbers as possible, and also buy every leaf through the pages, hasty exhibition, careful investment, and most strike oils to just ramp up your economy. Other key minions include Soulwinder to make every demon spell free and Bejeweled Duelist to scale while you're rolling a bunch. Eventually, you'll level to 5 or 6, pivot to a build with 30 gold and just win the game. If you don't believe the strength of the build, just watch my last video. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and address what you all are probably thinking right now. Is this strategy forcible? And as someone who forced it the entire day, the answer is actually no. I think if you don't have a landlubber on turn 5, most of the time you should just probably give up on the strat and just play normally because you're going to lose on, on way too much tempo. A lot of my games just ended up not having enough economy because I wasn't able to ramp up because I was just one or two turns behind. However, I do think certain heroes are actually able to force the strategy. Basically, heroes that scale off of every card or every spell that you buy. ETC has access to SI7 Scout which scales from every card you buy. Edwin has access to its hero power which scales plus one plus one for every four cards that you buy. And Galakrond and Tess are able to cheat out higher tavern tier units extremely easily. So if you get your hands on a living Azrite, you just instantly win the game or, or a Nala. I'm gonna show you guys gameplay of this in a bit. But I first have to show you guys the secret weapon I've discovered from forcing this strategy for a whole day. And that secret weapon is Patient Scout. That's right, this neutral 2-drop has the ability to discover higher tavern tier minions uh, as long as you keep it on your board for a long time. And you know the benefit of staying on 2? It's that you can triple Patient Scout extremely easily. And after that, you can take your chance at discovering one of those key units like uh, Nala or Living Azerite. And if you just hit, you just win the game. It's time that I show you guys my best lubber games in action. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to always choose this hero. I like this hero with Murloc because you can just buff your, your thing. But I, I didn't realize it was a lubber lobby. So my plan is actually just to discover Nala. Change of plans. Ooh, buff my King Varian. Are we loving? I'm gonna try to love, I think. I'm gonna try. Grease your Mercury's? I mean, it's whatever, who cares, man. It's just a 5-2, that's a token, like it's pretty good. He's Panda, right? He's Panda? He's Panda? He's Panda, right? He's Panda. Okay, wait. Dude, I'm, get I'm getting a stroke. I'm getting a stroke. What the fuck? He's... What the fuck? Did I just... Dude, no way the whole lobby is doing this. Two, two, four, two, two, two.
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I recovered. Not really. I'm fucking. I'm. I'm still in shock. I'm still in horror. Alucard, just watch and learn, okay? Just watch and learn. Just watch and learn. Wait, even Zeph is loving? Okay, who's loving? I'm loving? Wait. This guy is so bad. Finish the quest next turn. Wait, he just threw the game, no? Is this what you guys do when you say you always get 8th on lover? Is this you guys? Like, he just threw away his free win, basically. Actually, I should buy overconfidence. Naga, right? Ellie, Demon, Mech, Rock. Alucard, are you watching and learning? Loki, that Azra might be a bit grief, but it's fun. And also, it allows me to pivot to uh, Golden Bram, which we came. Anyway, it's just Jover, man. The Azerite animation's a bit slow, unfortunately, but it might be worth it. It's worth it, guys, right? It's worth it.
And my shot's gonna be so big. Second loves an extra try. Oh, I, oh, I know. I just wanted the extra spell in my shop. Okay, I'm gonna buy more strike oils. Hopefully this Azerite is worth it. Yeah, I need some strike coils though. Wait, where are the strike coils at anyways? I feel like I'm not rolling at me. Single strike with that thing. <laughs> the fuck? That's dumb. Wait, not a single one? Dude, the pool. They can't get taken out of the pool. Doesn't work like that. Wait, they literally can't be taken out of the pool. <laughs> okay, who went? So this Holmes is doing shit. Edwin is actually a joke. Even I, Edwin would have lost to me anyways, but actually... What a joke. Wait, no strike oils? How am I supposed to be infinite without strike oils? I don't get it. I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, I could eat a uh, shit with line luck. It's a good idea. Wait, that's a oh, dude, the Azerite is worth it after all, dude. That's the tech, bro. That's the Giga tech. Bro, that's actually the Giga tech. It was worth it, guys. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. The Azurite scaling is worth it. GG. Also, where's the strike oils? I haven't found a single one. This shit has to be bugged. It has to be, man.
They hot fixed that shit mid game. Dude, it's the fucking tech. It's actually broken. Wait, this this tech is not balanced. Ooh, gladiator. I'm not scaling a gladiator. What the fuck? Dude, this shit is 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 hella bugged. I'm convinced. It's hella bugged, bro. I'm at 13 gold. This game is an eighth. I mean, I'm still infinite at 13 gold at least. Yo, I'm giga infinite at 13 gold. Sometimes the pointy arrows are out of the game. Struggle is not worth it. I mean, I have so much gold. It's 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 a pretty good way to spend it. Should I go for golden bramble? Nah, isn't that boring? That shit is boring, I'm not doing that. I'll buy every chef's choice. He's not on this. I sell Nala, probably. Sell it later. I can also sell the Golden Lover. I should probably sell the Golden Lover actually. That's a lot of mind bucks. I should not buy overconfidence now. is pretty balanced I would say. <laughs> it's a nine of <laughs> What the f <laughs> I'm on tier two <laughs> I'm on tier two <laughs> three thousand three thousand nine hundred nine hundred that's right cluster not too bad <laughs> I won the game on tier 2. Should that one actually go on YouTube? 
Dude, Alucard, there's no way you're a doubter after that one. Okay? Alucard, there's no way you're a doubter anymore. Dude, that, that was my rank 1 game. That was... <laughs> that was like a perfect, um... That was the epitome of the meta in my rank 1 game. Actually so fun though.